Hello, I'm Zardis, and welcome back to my Planet Zoo for New Players series. Today we are going to talk about the Zoopedia. So before we do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and you will be able to follow along with more Planet Zoo content and check out more of my management games content here on Zardis too. So what we want to do is go to the Zoopedia, which is up here on the top left. And this is a really great resource for any of your planning. It tells you all about everything in the game or every animal in the game and you can use that to plan things out for example you can go to an aardvark here and you can see that okay well first of all it's educational you can learn about the aardvark and what type of uh, genes it has and stuff like that but you can also see the natural habitat where it belongs you can figure out okay well this one the biomes it needs are grassland and tropical it tells you how much space it needs how much climbing it needs how much water it needs in the exhibit and how much deep water it also tells you your temperature requirement and the uh, um, barrier that you will need so then when you're building your habitat you can use this to make sure that okay i'm going to go down to barriers and select the grade two or better and make sure that i get it at the right height you can also plan if you are going to put say four adults and for juveniles, it will adjust those requirements here to be the right amount of space. And once you build your habitat, you can click on the wall and it will tell you how much space there is. When you go to terrain, you can see the land area, the water area, and the water depth. So this one, actually, that water depth is not quite accurate because there is deep water in here. So I'm not quite sure why that is, but anyway, back to the Zoopedia. You can also go to the species data and that will tell you how many you need in the group. So like how many you can have in the habitat. There can be one male and up to one female for the aardvarks. So going back here, if we had four adults, that would not turn out very good for the aardvarks. They would fight and stuff like that. Uh, you can also see relations with humans is interesting. They are shy, so they will want to have some areas that they can hide. Other ones are not shy, like African penguins are neutral. They don't really care all that much. The wild dog is confident. They don't need to hide at all. They are pretty happy there. Also, it's interesting, the aardvark can have guests in their habitat. We'll have a video about walk uh, through habitats as well later on. The other stuff in here is interesting information. You don't necessarily have to pay attention to it early on here. So that is just, I mean, this is all about beginners. So you want to just stick to what you need to know here. Research. Um, this is stuff that we're in sandbox mode so everything is researched but if you weren't in the sandbox you could see what has been researched by your vets and stuff like that also there's some fun facts that you can read about each one interspecies enrichment so if you build a habitat with both a meerkat and an aardvark then both of them will have a bonus to their animal welfare because they like to be together there are other ones that could potentially be together but they uh they don't get the bonus for them so you may want to test things out to see if you can put them together but at the very least you know that these two can go together and they will be very very happy you can also then go over here and click a quick button to the market to see what is available and that is a shortcut there or if you have some like, uh, let's see, this is a North American zoo. So we should have bison. No, we don't have bison here. Moose. Okay, we have moose in the zoo. So if you click manage, it will bring you to your animals list. And these are all the moose that we have in this zoo right now. You can go back to that and you can also click your research and it will bring your vets to research here and you could go ahead and get a vet going on that. Then the other thing that I find really useful here in the Zoopedia is to use the filters. So you can do habitat, which is the larger animals or the exhibit, which are the ones that go in the small exhibits. 
And you can filter that way. You can filter by continent and even by conservation status. So this iguana, there aren't very many out there. So I presume, but I haven't confirmed this, but, but you would get a lot of conservation points if you breed the iguanas, I think is how it would work. But those are the main things in the... Um, in the Zoopedia, it has a lot of information that you can use to work on planning out your habitats and things like that. So I hope you found that useful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos. And in the next one, we will be in the next video in this series, I should say, we will be talking about, drumroll please, animal welfare. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.